There's always a sense of excitement when a fresh Mustang comes along. Because, like the Mini or the E-Type Jag, it's one of those Hall of Fame cars. So here we are with the new one. The question is where to drive it. it kind of lends itself to a bit of a road movie, really. Yes, we need our own Nevada Highway. Our own Route 66. And here it is. The A15. It's a magnificent bit of tarmac, the longest stretch of straight road in Britain, and it runs from Scunthorpe to Lincoln. I am a bit worried about this bit, though. But with being in an American car and everything, it's a corner. <laughs> The Mustang still holds the record for being the fastest selling car of all time in America. It really is part of the landscape. In fact, back in the 1960s, the US Navy ran a recruitment ad that said the Beach Boys, Apple Pie and the 67 Mustang. Three things worth fighting for. But that's not been the case for a while now because frankly the last few generations of Mustang have been a bit pony. The problem is, whereas other muscle cars, like the Charger, had the good grace to die young, the Mustang has lived on. And it's got tamer and weedier over the years until it's ended up as nothing more than a badge for the marketing men to sell. This one, Ford reckoned, will turn the pony back into a stallion once again. But on first impressions, you won't be bowled over, particularly if you're used to European cars. Take the engine, for example. It's a 4.6-litre V8. That sounds like a lot, but it's not German. You get just 300 brake horsepower. That's hardly pushing the boundaries of what's possible. On paper, the figures look good. 0 to 60 in just under six seconds. But it just doesn't feel rapid. Mind you, that's not such a bad thing, because it's also got the most basic suspension this side of a stagecoach. <laughs> It's got a live rear axle. Now, forgive me if I get a bit technical here, but bear with me. What it means is that the back wheels are connected basically by a girder. So what one wheel does, the other wheel does. It's a bit like running around with your shoelaces tied together. There are better ways of getting about. After a hard morning pounding the blacktop, I was hungry and pulled into a luxurious roadside diner. <laughs> Can I have, um, I'd like, uh, an all-day breakfast and a big mug of tea and eggs over easy. Actually, I have no idea what that means, just cook them. Thank you. And then it was here, in the car park of Sales Rep Saloon, that the Mustang started to make sense. I mean, parked up next to your average Euro box, it looks magnificent. And then the funeral heavies reminded me that it's also got some charming touches. Now, there is a tradition in road movies that at some point the baddie in the muscle car locks another bloke in the boot. Well, they've thought of that, because look at this. This handle. Pull that and the boot opens from the inside and look, that man is clearly running away. Eh? That's not how it would have happened in the old days. In the old days, you stayed locked in the boot with the spade until you got to the woods. But if your murder victim has run away, here's a little detail to cheer you up. OK, with these controls, I can change the colour of the lights on the instrument binnacle. 125 colours to choose from. I didn't even know there were that many. I was really warming to this car, and as the miles rolled by, its muscle car charm seduced me even more. It might be a bit of a simpleton, but it feels like it's regained some of that spirit of the old Mustang. Yes, technically a European car would run rings around it, but come on, this has got such a sense of drama and of occasion, and it looks fantastic. It's a completely different beast. And it goes about its business like a proper muscle car too. If I stand on the accelerator, 
It doesn't just accelerate, it rears and snorts. It's got a sense of theatre and of drama and of pantomime. It's an event. And you know, right now in America, the average time between one of these things going onto a dealer forecourt for sale and then being bought is 15 minutes. 15 minutes, and I'm not surprised. Our road movie ends in Lincoln, which doesn't sound romantic. But actually, Lincoln is a bit of a surprise. It looks really pretty, and yet it's one of the cheapest places in Britain to live. And that brings us neatly to another good thing about the Mustang. Because here we are, muscle car, looking like it does, with a V8 and all the toys inside and a Mustang badge, and it costs 25 to 30 grand. That's it. And for an icon, that's a bit of a bargain. 